I just filmed this whole video and then realized that I wasn't recording the audio. <laughs> What's up guys, I'm back with another video and in today's video we're going to be discussing three ways to promote your music in 2023. Let's go. So the purpose of this video is to give you guys actionable tips that you can use to help grow your audience and your fan base in 2023. The first way is going to be TikTok. And I know what you guys are thinking, TikTok, that's for children, I don't want to use TikTok, it's weird, whatever your ideas of it might be. And I had the same mentality for a while, but hopefully I can help shift that mentality for you guys. So I've been on and off TikTok for about one, two years, you know, being semi-consistent and then just stopping altogether. Um, but something that really clicked for me um, and that made me push it even harder was when I was listening to a Gary Vee podcast where he was discussing a rule of thumb that he has for marketing and promotion. So this rule of thumb is to always pay attention to where the attention is. Remember that. Always pay attention to where the attention is. So in the olden days, it used to be posters, it used to be billboards, because that's where the most eyes were, right, was traffic. Nowadays, obviously, with social media, um, that's changed quite a bit. And the go-to platform nowadays where the most attention and the most eyes are is, unfortunately, TikTok. Right now, this just happens to be TikTok, um, but it's always going to change. You guys have to make sure that you're adaptable to this change, because if you're not, you're going to be left behind. But that rule of thumb to always pay attention to where the attention is, is just a great one liner to remember. And it really helps just navigate promotion better. For TikTok guys, you really want to make sure your content is entertaining and engaging. Um, it's just like any other platform. The biggest problem with people's mentality on TikTok, and it used to be for me as well, is that, you know, we kind of thought in the beginning that it was going to be this magical thing that, you know, you can just post a video on and it'll go viral or semi-viral and you'll start getting all these fans and followers. We now know that that is not the case for most people. Yes, it has happened, but that was mostly in the beginning of TikTok and it's definitely declining. Um, so it's not a magical spell, guys. It's not, you know, this magical outlet that you can just post one video on and get a bunch of fans and followers. It's just like any other platform. You still have to have really good content and make it really engaging to grow. The next tip for TikTok would be to use hashtags. And I know hashtags are a little bit cringy, especially on Instagram and things. Like when I see people using hashtags on Instagram, I'm just thinking that's doing nothing to help you. Um, but on TikTok, it actually really does still work. So for example, when I post a clip of this video on TikTok, I use hashtags like promoting music 2023, 2023 promotion, 2023 music industry, artist help, things like that um, to help my video get seen in the correct niche. The final point I'll make about TikTok guys before we move on is to focus on being a creator over a consumer. It's so easy nowadays to get sucked into TikTok and just spend hours scrolling mindlessly watching random videos. Um, so you really want to have that mindset of being a creator and not a consumer. Because if you just start becoming a consumer on TikTok, it's really going to damage your productivity and perhaps your mental health. The second way to promote your music in 2023 is going to be having a solid release strategy. This helps to create momentum for your releases and also helps to build your fan base. I'll put a link in the description to a video that we did on a 10 day artist release strategy. Um, it also has a download with it that is completely free. So if you guys want a simple, easy to follow 10 day release strategy for your music in 2023, make sure to check that video out. So I know I'm talking about having a strategy, but you also wanna have an element of playing it by ear. I'll give you an example. If you release a song a month and that is your strategy, but the song that you released last month is doing very well, it's gaining traction, it's getting streams, you wanna focus on promoting that song instead of releasing the next song and promoting that. So maybe hold off on the next release for a bit and just spend the time and money that you do have on that song that is doing well so that you can get the most out of that release. Another tip which you guys probably know is to promote singles over albums. Um, this is not to say that you can't make albums, me personally, I'm a big fan of albums. I'm an album guy. Um, never really liked singles. I'm you know, getting into them more now, but I really like bodies of work from artists. But um, unfortunately, the way that the algorithm works is that they push singles much more than they push albums. Um, also just with people's attention spans being lowered and lowered by the day, um, singles is the way to go to grow. That rhymed, I'm a rapper, bro. You also wanna post snippets pre-release so that people can get a taste of what's to come. This helps build anticipation for your releases and it also helps artists kind of 
dive right into that experience as soon as you release the song, right? It'll be awesome if you've been teasing something and then as you release it, you already have fans and people that know the lyrics of your music. The third and final way to promote your music in 2023 is going to be Instagram. Reels have saved Instagram, guys. It's actually crazy. Instagram's been on this downward slope for the past, I don't know how many years, um, but them adopting TikTok's strategy of short form content through reels has really saved the platform. You wanna push your content on Instagram through feed posts, stories, as well as reels. But the way that you're going to do it is going to be different on each one. You want to use your feed as a portfolio. You wanna have really good high quality photo and video content so that when people come to your page, they get a great first impression. Reels and stories is where you can get a little bit more raw and a little bit more real with your audience. You can post behind the scenes videos. You can even just post a video of you talking to the camera, holding your phone up. Um, I think authenticity is really coming back in 2023. So it's great if you can show this human side to you, this authentic side to you, because um, I think fans really latch onto that when they see it. The final piece of advice I'll give for you guys in this video is going to be not to upload your TikTok content straight to Instagram. If you upload your TikTok content straight from TikTok to Instagram with the TikTok watermark, Instagram is going to flag that and it's not going to promote it. So be sure that you guys are making clips of your content for your songs or whatever the case may be, maybe it's a music video, and that you're uploading them separately to TikTok and separately to Instagram. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching. As always, there'll be a PNG download, and the one for this video is going to be the most important tips to grow your audience and promote your music in 2023. I'll see you guys in another video.